boys and girls. In this video, we're going to finish our circle design. Um, <clears throat> basically, last week we just traced some circles and then we traced around the where we drew with pencil with the colored crayon. Um, we also made sure that we overlapped. Again, when two things overlap, it means that one just goes a little bit on top of the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to color these circles in and we're going to do two things. The first thing that we need to do is that we need to color these in so that they stay in the lines. And the second thing that we need to do is we need to color them in fully, except for the parts where they overlap. So First of all, when we color, when we write with any pencil, crayon, marker, anything, we hold it with three, hand, three fingers. It's called a tripod grip. Your two fingers and your thumb, like your first two, your pointer and your middle finger, and your thumb. Um, and you want to make sure when you're coloring that you're moving your wrist, that you're not moving your whole arm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to color. We're going to try and color just in one direction. We're not going to move our arm like really big. We're just going to move just our hand. And we're going to take our time coloring in. I'm going to color part of this the wrong way. If I color like this, it's absolutely not done. You need to make sure that you are coloring in completely right up to the edge, but not going over. So I'm going to time lapse this video so that you can see how I take my time coloring and how I just use small strokes and I color completely. So boys and girls, before I move on to the next circle, I want to make sure that I go back before I change circles, before I put down my crayon. I want to go back, I want to check for little white spots, and I want to do touch-ups. So the two things that we're going to look for is that we're coloring in our area and not going out of the lines, and that we're coloring it in completely.
that's it. I hope that you had fun watching this video. Don't forget, whenever we color things in, the first two rules of coloring that we need to do are we need to make sure, number one, that we're staying in the lines, and number two, that we're coloring in our circles fully, that we're going back and looking for those white areas that are not colored in before we move on to the next, um, the next thing that we're coloring. So I hope you enjoyed this video and happy coloring. Uh, it should take you at least 20-25 minutes to color in all of your circles.